spoken word today um, at the Palace of Arbor Hills for the Pistons play Detroit basketball. Now next month marks the 50th anniversary of the Selma to Montgomery March of 1965. For those who might not know what that is, in the 1960s the right to vote was supposed to be for everyone. However, local government agencies would intentionally put certain restrictions and certain qualifications on this right to vote. I say black history, I say uh, history. That's the key word. It's about, you have living legends around us. I mean, if it wasn't for the Ray Scotts, the Dave Bings, I couldn't perform at a high level at this beautiful building. Civil rights, a time period where African Americans fought to be equal, rioting and marches every other day like it was part of a sequel. New legislation was passed, but we couldn't see change. But the black man, he stayed strong. Our connection remained the same. Detroit, the city of hope. That's why the immigrants came. Nightclubs and black-owned businesses is how we made a name. But the white man broke us up. Black bottom demolished because of urban break, a reconstruction to split apart the black community. Because apparently, Chrysler Freeway and Lafayette Park was more important than us. But 50 years later, we're still blaming our oppressor for our oppression. But young brother, young sister, it's time to sit back and ask, is it me? They told me I was free, but I can't help but think of the morals that they enforced into me. Still walking around with my head stuck between my shoulders like I'm hanging from a lynching tree. Did you forget the dream? The dream that came from a king principles that we enforced into our queens. The dream that helped end discrimination and segregation. The dream that allowed a black man to run our nation. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. So it's time to live up to the means of this creed because Dr. Martin Luther King was not murdered at the expense to not see us succeed. Coleman Young, he did not build this city up for us to tear it down. So it's time to stand up, young brother, young sister. Rejoice and let freedom bring. So, I'm leaving the competition now, and I didn't win any scholarships, but I spoke to the judges, and they said I did an amazing job. I'm just excited for everyone who won, so shout out to everybody. They gave us 10 important gift cards. I'm like, yes. Four tickets to the game with VIP passes. I'm like, yes, yes. And then, they, <laughs> they gave us, oh, these stairs are killing me. Oh my god they gave us window tablets like y'all 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 so rick mahorn got me on video tripping i met dave bing oh my gosh i almost had a heart attack like i met he was the mayor of detroit he was one of the original bad boys like I almost had a heart attack i said is that gave me oh my god and these basketball players are so tall. I felt like it. I'm leaving now. I don't know where we park. Say hi to my YouTube channel. Say hey. It was a great experience. I love um, everybody who came and supported me. Oh my gosh, the love was unreal. The way when they called my name and the way you prep cheer, I was like, oh, I love you guys.